A bit of disappointing news. Flight 6 may be delayed a bit longer. This confirmation comes directly from SpaceX and its president, Gwyn Shotwell. So why the delay, and when can we expect the next launch? In this episode, we'll also dive into an exciting update on SpaceX's partnership with Impulse Space, a company founded by former SpaceX engineer Tom Mueller. Impulse Space has secured three Falcon 9 flights for critical upcoming missions. And in other industry news, Blue Origin's new Glenn rocket, still awaiting its first launch, has been selected for a fascinating satellite mission mission. Stay tuned as we explore all this and more on today's episode of Great SpaceX. We're all eagerly counting down to the launch of Flight 6, the fourth Starship flight of the year, with high expectations. This mission promises to build on the successes of Flight 5 and unlock new possibilities for SpaceX's future. Initially, Flight 6 was scheduled for Monday, November 18th. However, the timeline has recently shifted. On November 15th, SpaceX posted an update on X announcing targeting Tuesday, November 19th for Starship's sixth flight test. A 30-minute launch window opens at 4 p.m. CT. This update was reflected on SpaceX's website, confirming the revised launch time. Interestingly, the announcement came shortly after a similar mention by Gwen Shotwell at the 31st Barron Annual Investment Conference, where she indicated that Tuesday would be the new target for Flight 6. Hints of this reschedule has already surfaced. SpaceX's road closure notices suggested a wet dress rehearsal was planned for the 17th. Just one day before the original November 18th launch date. Considering the steps involved after a WDR, including destacking, installing the flight termination system, and conducting the final full stack assembly, achieving a launch within one day seemed logistically challenging. During Flight 5, for instance, there was nearly a three day gap between destacking and the final full stack. While recent images showed progress on the FTS installation, additional system checks and preparations would still need to be completed before launch. Although it's slightly disappointing that Flight 6 won't happen on November 8th, coinciding with the anniversary of Flight 2, it's important to prioritize thorough preparations for success. This flight is a critical milestone as it involves landing the Super Heavy booster on Mechazilla for the second time and executing a controlled vertical landing with the ship. The mission also requires the ship to relight its engine in space and endure re-entry, including areas without heat shield coverage, making careful preparation essential. Ultimately, this delay is minor, just one more day. The anticipation will only make the excitement of seeing this colossal rocket launch and return even more exhilarating. In preparation for the wet dress rehearsal, SpaceX has been conducting rigorous tests. On November 15th, the team completed a grid fin test with Booster 13, an igniter test with both Booster 13 and Ship 31, and a detonation suppression system test. These activities demonstrate SpaceX's steadfast commitment to ensuring a successful flight. For those patiently waiting for this momentous launch, let your excitement be heard. Comment, I'm still waiting, in the comments section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to your art channel for the latest updates on SpaceX and Flight 6. Lastly, I want to express my gratitude to all our viewers for helping us surpass the milestone of 150,000 subscribers. Your support drives us to continue delivering updates and insights about SpaceX's groundbreaking journey. If you haven't subscribed yet, join us to help the channel reach new heights. Thank you so much for being part of this incredible journey. Now, let's delve into SpaceX's exciting collaboration with Impulse Space. Impulse Space, founded by former SpaceX engineer Tom Mueller, has secured a major milestone with three Falcon 9 launches reserved to deploy its high-energy orbital transfer vehicles, Helios, starting in 2026. Among these launches, one mission will support the U.S. Space Force, showcasing Impulse Space's growing prominence in both commercial and national security sectors. The agreement was finalized with a contract signed on November 14th, ensuring that each Falcon 9 mission will carry a Helios transfer vehicle, a state-of-the-art kickstage designed to revolutionize payload delivery to high-energy orbits. The first of these missions is slated for mid-2026 and will include a smaller vehicle, Mira, which is set to transport a commercial optical payload from low Earth orbit to geostationary transfer orbit. This mission, titled Victus Sergo, will serve both the U.S. Space Force and the Defense Innovation Unit, marking a pivotal step forward in orbital transfer technology.
Impulse Space was awarded a $34.5 million contract for Victus Sergo, as well as a follow-up mission named Victus Salo, which will have its timeline and payload details determined at a later date. These contracts underscore the confidence placed in Impulse Space's capabilities by both the commercial and defense sectors. Eric Romo, president and COO of Impulse Space, shared the company's vision for Helios during the announcement. Securing these launches allows us to showcase the full potential of Helios. Delivering spacecraft to high energy orbits rapidly and economically changes the equation for commercial communication operators and national security missions like Victus Sergo. The Helios vehicle represents a significant leap in space propulsion technology powered by the Deneb engine, which Impulse Space describes as a groundbreaking development in the field. Deneb uses an oxygen-rich staged combustion cycle and features a high expansion nozzle delivering an impressive 15,000 pounds of thrust. This makes it one of the most advanced liquid oxygen slash methane engines ever built, capable of performing highly efficient and rapid orbital transfers. The engine's capabilities are central to Helios's promise of economically reshaping how payloads are delivered to various orbits. The first launch of Helios will take place at SpaceX's historic LC-39A pad at Kennedy Space Center. Similar to earlier SpaceX missions, including the IM-1 lunar lander, Helios will be fueled pre-launch with liquid oxygen and liquid methane. This method aligns with SpaceX's push for adopting sustainable and efficient propellants across its platforms. Stephanie Bednarik, SpaceX Vice President of Commercial Sales, highlighted the significance of this partnership, stating, We're honored Impulse Space selected Falcon 9 to launch these exciting missions. We share Impulse's goal of making space more accessible for those looking for a ride to orbit, and we look forward to working with their team once again. This collaboration is a testament to the continued dominance of Falcon 9 as space SpaceX's reliable workhorse for a broader spectrum of missions. While the spotlight often shines on Starship's potential to redefine space exploration, Falcon 9 remains a cornerstone of SpaceX's operations. Its proven track record of reusability, precision, and reliability ensures its place as a key player in both commercial ventures and government partnerships. This partnership underscores Falcon 9's ongoing importance in bridging today's missions with the future of space exploration. While Starship's potential is highly anticipated, Falcon 9 remains a cornerstone for critical missions like Helios. Now let's dive into the latest updates about Blue Origin's new Glenn and its recent mission announcements. AST Space Mobile, a Texas-based startup aiming to establish a direct-to-cell phone satellite service, has chosen Blue Origin's new Glenn to launch its next-generation Block 2 Bluebird satellites. In a statement from November 14th, AST Space Mobile confirmed that New Glenn and other existing launch vehicles will deploy up to 60 satellites across 2025 and 2026. Abel Avalon, AST Space Mobile's founder, chairman, and CEO, expressed confidence in Blue Origin's capabilities. New Glenn's performance and unprecedented capacity within its 7-meter fairing enables us to deploy more of our Block 2 Bluebird satellites in orbit, helping provide continuous cellular broadband service coverage across some of the most in-demand cellular markets globally. The next-gen Block 2 Bluebird satellites will dwarf the company's first five Bluebird spacecraft, which launched aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 in September. While those satellites featured large 700-square-foot or 65 square meter communication arrays, the upcoming Block 2 models will carry enormous 2,400 square foot or 223 square meter arrays capable of delivering up to 10 times the bandwidth of their predecessors. These satellites are part of AST Space Mobile's plan to deploy a total of 168 spacecraft, aiming to provide global connectivity directly to ordinary smartphones. Key markets include the United States, Europe, Japan, the U.S. government, and other strategic regions. However, the startup faces fierce competition, particularly from SpaceX's Starlink broadband service. From Blue Origin's side, CEO Dave Limp commented, 
It's an honor to support AST Space Mobile's deployment of their next-generation Bluebird satellites, which will expand connectivity across the globe and positively, positively impact many lives. New Glenn is purpose-built for these kinds of innovative and ambitious missions. While this partnership is a promising milestone, Blue Origin faces significant hurdles. Despite nearly 25 years in development, New Glenn has yet to reach orbit. A debut flight was initially targeted for late 2024, but delays in preparations and regulatory approval have cast doubt on this timeline. Following its maiden voyage, New Glenn has several high-profile missions on its schedule, including launching NASA's Mars spacecraft and fulfilling contracts under the National Security Space Launch Program. Each step toward operational readiness is critical, as New Glenn must prove its reliability to secure a foothold in a highly competitive market. Competition looms large from industry leaders like SpaceX, whose Falcon rockets dominate orbital launches, and emerging players like Rocket Lab. Without clear progress soon, Blue Origin's ability to make meaningful contributions to the space race will remain under scrutiny. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.